In this module, we're going to be looking at the various interface elements found in Illustrator CS5. Here in the center is the document window. The document window is accessed using a tab up here at the top. If a second file is open, then it will appear, appear in a different tab, like so. The boundaries of the document are defined by the artboard, which can be set when you create a new document. Several artboards can be contained within a single document, and they will each have boundaries like this one. Well, we'll cover artboards in a later module. Located over here to the left of the document window is a panel of tools called the toolbox. All of these tools will let you select, manipulate, and draw the artwork located here in the document window. The toolbox is represented by different icons and you can select the different tools by simply clicking on them. To get the name of the different tools, just hold the mouse still over an icon and a tooltip will show you the tool name along with any keyboard shortcut used to access that tool. Along the top of the interface are the various menus. These menus work like any other application by simply clicking on them and selecting them. You'll notice that the, for the different commands, the keyboard shortcut is located here to the right of the command name. Also along the toolbar at the top is an icon to access Adobe Bridge and an icon for arranging the different documents. There's also a tool here for defining and accessing different custom workspaces. The Illustrator interface can be customized by moving panels around to create the environment that you want. These custom interfaces can be saved as workspaces and accessed using this menu here. This field up here lets you type in keywords to search in the help files for specific information on that keyword. The CS Live is a collaboration tool that lets other users see your interface in a Flash-based web browser. Also located along the top of the interface is this thin panel called the Control Panel. Within the Control Panel are different settings for the selected tool. For example, currently the Selection tool is enabled and specific tools for that are located here in the Control Panel. If we switch, however, to the Type tool, you'll notice that additional settings appear on the Control Panel for accessing the character and paragraph panels. All of the different settings for the various tools are located over here in the various panels. But the control panel is just a subset of those available commands located here for easy access without having to search through the different panels to find exactly what you're looking for. The panels are located using these icons over here on the right. You can expand all of the panels using the button up here at the top or you can click on the individual icons to open just a single panel. By expanding and contracting the panels, it saves you a lot of real estate and gives you more room to draw in. Located along the bottom of the interface is the status bar. Down here you'll find a drop-down list for changing the zoom value. There's also controls right here for switching between the various artboards if several are identified. And there is a display list that lets you show either the artboard name, the current tool, the date time, the number of undo dues, or the document color profile. I like to keep this set to the current tool so I know which one is currently selected. So that's the interface elements. In a later module, we'll show how to customize and move these different interface elements around to create a custom workspace.